I'm gonna give you guys a high speed demo. This is slow. That's fast, wow. We're gonna be looking at a lot of brand new tools, gear, and equipment that most people haven't seen before, including a battery powered commercial lawnmower right here, battery powered chainsaws, battery powered dethatcher, and more. So stick around, this one's gonna be a good one. Going to North Carolina today to hook up with a company called Greenworks. Now I went into this not having any clue what this company called Greenworks was about. I had some preconceived notions that Greenworks was kind of a smaller company and they probably didn't build the best equipment. And so when I went into it, I didn't have high expectations, but when I walked out of it, uh, things kind of changed. And so what you're going to see is a lot of demonstrations of their older equipment they call it gen 1 versus gen 2 and the increase and the uptick in performance is night and day i mean it's like the, i ran a chainsaw you guys and i was like holy crap this is one of the best battery powered chainsaws that i've ever put my hands on with features that are in the pro level of chainsaws and i started to kind of open up my mind a little bit and what I discovered along this journey, I decided to take a video of and share with you guys. And so without wasting more time, we're going to see the latest and greatest from this company. And I expect that this Gen 2 is only the start of where things are going to go. But I don't know that for sure. And I'll let you guys tell me from there. So without wasting more time, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, I'm with Chad. You're one of the product specialists for Greenworks. Yes. Now, Greenworks is a pure battery-powered company, no gasoline whatsoever. Am I right with that? That, that is correct. Okay, so you were running through some specs. The energy efficiency of a typical two-stroke high-performance engine on the high spectrum, what is that? About 12%. Okay, about 12%. Now, we're going to compare that to a battery. The same kind of battery platform will have energy efficiency of what? Uh, brushless motors here at Greenworks rate right out to about 88% efficiency ratings. Okay, so that's the, the big disparity between the two right off the bat, right? Yeah. No, heat, no heat in motion, so we don't lose all of that uh, efficiency in what we're trying to accomplish. I'll go ahead and start with our lawnmowers. Uh, this year, uh, we started developing your new 60 volt lawnmowers. All of our products are exclusive to Lowe's and Lowe's.com right now in the 60 volt platform. So these are our Gen 2 lawn mowers. We've got a standard push mower and a self-propelled mower. Uh, these both feature a turbo button. So what happens is with the Smart Cut technology in these mowers, they run at a lower RPM. But once you hit a, a thicker patch of grass, it increases the RPM and torque. So if you're running the mower, it's all push button start. adjustment all of our lawnmowers. We kept that standard. What's really great about our new 60 volt um, self-propelled mower is we feature our new easy fold handles. So it only takes a fraction of the time to fold your mower up. So you pull the handles back, pull it down, and it starts right up. The Greenworks, this is the 21 inch self-propelled residential with the dual battery port outlet so it'll automatically switch. It'll automatically switch from one battery to the second battery. Yep. So start it up, push the button, which also gives you your battery gauge here to show you what your battery level is at. I'll tell you both batteries, okay? Now we're running. You got self, self speed, drive speed here. And then a turbo mode, which kicks the motor up into high gear, all out power. You don't have to worry about it downshifting and upshifting. 
let's go. Let's move along nice and slow. And as we ramp up the speed, it turns into almost almost a full-on jog. Okay, so I have one last question for you that you said was majorly important to the Greenworks battery platform, and that's the uh, output staying consistent throughout the entire life cycle of the battery. Can you quickly summarize what that means? Yeah, the battery management system within our packs, uh, we control the, the, the performance through the run of the battery. So performance, chain speed, RPMs, that kind of thing are all the same at full charge, half charge, down to almost empty. It's the same through the run of the battery. So now the battery life cycle is how many times it fills up and then drops back down to zero and you fill it back up and the average battery out there is going to be at about 2,000 cycles, correct? Yeah, yeah. it depends on the user. Um, we the, the easy kind of, uh, especially from a homeowner perspective, it's you're looking at probably five years before you would even get close to that 70% initial capacity. Okay, so, but let's talk about what that 70% initial capacity means. Yeah. So at 2,000 cycles, you drop down to about 70% capacity of the 100% charge, right. but one of the fallacies that a lot of guys are going, well, then that's a wasted battery. But in reality, if you're only charging to 70%, but you're getting the same efficiency out of that battery, then you're not suffering a loss of performance, you're only suffering a loss of runtime, and that means you don't necessarily just have to toss this thing out, am I right? Uh, you are so right, you should probably do the next four rotations. You nailed it, that's okay. exactly right. All right, so that's why battery technology where it's at right now is only going to get better, and we're gonna see some of the coolest stuff that these guys have to offer. Absolutely. All right, let's keep going. This is our Gen 2 60 volt chainsaw, 16 inch bar and chain, pro style bar clamping, mechanical chain break. Lighter weight, more compact, no vibration, overall gas performance. Equal to a 40cc gas engine? Correct. Or about 1. what, 1.75 horsepower roughly? Yeah. I'll run that side by side with the timer breakdown so you guys can tell the difference from Gen 1, which I just did, and then Gen 2 I did actually first. So this, is, this is the Gen 2, right? So now I'm going to let the saw do the work. I'm just going to let the power go on this one and come up. Gen 1. Three, two, one. Brand new, this is our 14 inch cordless dethatcher. We had an AC dethatcher out and we've now taken it to our cordless system. This is our 40 volt G Max battery. So the battery just slides right in here. So. Simple as that. No cords. What's the runtime on that going to be like? Uh, the runtime is going to be on a 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery, about 35 minutes of runtime. Perfect. Present uh, stand with the award for the thinnest cookie. The smallest cookie. The small, the smallest thank you for the award for the smallest wood. All right. Thank you. Thank Congrats. you. All right. I have the smallest wood. It's a multi tool. So you're a gas converter and you had Trimmer Plus, Ryobi Expanded, any of the MTD attached, any universal gas attachments, right? That, that would turn your gas spring trimmer into a hedge trimmer or a pole saw or a cultivator or something like that. But we're not gonna tell you to throw those away. Keep those, buy this. You can use all those attachments on this string trimmer. From what brand? Anything that claims itself as universal. So that would be Ryobi Expanded, Trimmer Plus. Um, there's some, I think that's called Universal. Pool and Pro had some that were universal. Um, yeah. So now Greenworks can get, can they can take any universal attachment that these guys already own mm -hmm. and hook it up to their battery platform. Exactly. All right, guys, this is Corey, the engineer that you developed this commercial line of completely battery powered mower, right? Lithium powered battery, zero turn mowers. Yes, absolutely. Is this? brand new is this model new or you, what's what's going on with this? Uh, th this is the 52 inch we also have a 60 inch uh, we launched these late last year uh, we're coming out with the uh, prosumer coming out this fall 
So you have a residential model coming out? We are working on a residential unit. It'll be coming out next spring. Okay, tell me about yeah. this one. What would we know about it? We've got like three motors, two for blades, one for... We've got, we've got five, motors. five one, motors. One for each of the wheels and one for each of the three blades. Okay. All independent, all working through a CAN bus system. So they operate completely independently. If any wheel or any motor hits an obstruction, has an issue, it immediately says, I've got a problem. I shut off and I tell the user exactly, hey, the right motor's got a no branch in it or something. Then. No gear drives, no adjustments necessary, no tensioning, no belts, nothing. Completely free of all that hassle, work, maintenance. Okay, check this out. We're on. That's it. That's it. The mower is now running. And it's silent. I don't hear any motor, Stan. All right, let's let's turn the PTO on. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, there we go. discharge on anybody here. Total runtime is, we say we can probably get a full day's cutting on it. Uh, most landscapers use it all day, but they're jumping back and forth between using this, trimming, blowing, doing other functions. So they're putting about three to four hours a day on it. We think most people should be able to get that functionality out. Of it. So let's actually talk about that. That's realistically the amount of time that you actually spend with this machine moving because you're trailering it. You're doing all the tie downs. You're doing all of the other stuff that goes along yep. with it because there's going to be guys saying, oh, no, I put 10 hours a day. No, you may be putting 10 or 15 hours a day in working but your machine probably is not getting the same amount of time that you guys Exactly. Are. Tell me how many hours you actually have on your machine in a full year and how many days you work. Do that math and you'll find out you're probably only putting two to four hours a day on that actual machine in now, one time. Now here's our question. What's the cost of this unit? Uh, this unit right now is around 20K. Okay. Now you were given some math earlier that says that you will actually recoup this. Is is that a, is that right or wrong? You, w w with your gas savings, we've we've calculated it and we can give you the math that you should be able to pay this back in about three years compared to a gas model. I'm not here to try to sell you on this mower, but these are facts that I've learned along the way as I've been you know talking to the different engineers here, and these were facts that honestly just blew my mind. I had no no idea, no concept that uh, a, g a gasoline powered motor actually mm -hmm. loses 90% efficiency from turning it into fuel to power mm -hmm. versus a battery powered mower only loses 10% efficiency. That's kind of a number that blew me away. I don't know what you guys think. Tell me what you think of it in the comments down below. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be like, <laughs> blah, 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 this is wrong and that's wrong and that's fine. I, I appreciate that and these guys are gonna read that and these this is how these guys are gonna probably respond in kind and try to keep improving so they need feedback. Of course, of course. We're, we're, we're welcome to the feedback and I know there's gonna be a lot of engineers and people that give me feedback about what the two percentages are because some people say a, a gas engine and a two cycle one in this is gonna have you know 80% efficiency. Well, that's compared to what its maximum efficiency could be, not what the actual efficiency of the gasoline coming in and coming out is. And that's what the gas companies never wanna tell you is how much energy you're actually wasting, wasting. on that. All right, you guys, now you were able to see what I was able to discover at the Greenworks facility in North Carolina. You tell me what you think of it. I'm, my personal belief is I think this is a company that's going to be on the uptick and to keep your eyes open on them because all I see is these guys taking time to improve their quality and the processes and trying to be competitive with some of the biggest names in the industry. And from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2, I already see that happening, especially in their chainsaws their leaf blowers and that commercial lawnmower that was that was amazing that torque on that thing but I'd like I'd love to try to put that thing to the test in real world conditions before I say anything more about it so you guys comment down below tell me what you think of it if you like this and want to see more of them just hit that like button and I'll, I'll uh, do the best I can to hook you guys up with the best information I can find out there while you're here check out this video here that one there Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell notification. That's an important button to hit. And that's all I got for you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching my videos. Truly appreciate it. God bless you guys. And go get them.